the head nurse on your case about something? No, it's me. NASA should send me on the next space shuttle into orbit. Why have you declared yourself a disaster? Because I am. I'm a total failure with boys, a real god. Well, you don't act like one. Well, you've never been on a date with me. Think. You want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. I spent half my life in a convent school, and uh, I guess I just didn't realize I'd come out wearing a habit. Sounds like to me all you need to do is relax. Follow your instincts. Well, I think that's the problem. I don't have any instinct. Correction. You don't see them. Believe me, you're turning 16. You have instincts. I wish I had half your confidence. Ryan, you're the one who has all the friends around here. Yeah, but they're girlfriends. You know, old men, ladies. Every resident and intern turns his head when you walk by. We are regular Mary Poppins. That's just it. I don't want to be Mary Poppins. Oh? I got you. Are you in love with this guy? I don't know. I don't think so. Perfect. What? That makes him practice material. So you can get all the bugs out and be ready for Mr. Wright when he does come along. Oh, Betsy, I don't think I like the sound of that. Oh, that's the convent talking again. Remember what I said? You have to loosen up. <laughs> Who is this object of your affections, anyway? Oh, he's just a new guy here at the hospital. You mean one of the interns? No, um, his name's DJ LaSalle. You're kidding. My antennas picked him up when he first walked in the door. Oh, he's a bunch of fox. I know. Things were going real great with us until I tripped over my two left feet. I think he's pretty experienced. And when he saw my true colors, he just dropped the relationship. Show him some new colors. It's going to be pretty tough now. I got so nervous when he started to come on to me that I said that there was another guy. I mean, he dropped me like girls. I had the blade. Girls. Everyone else is working. Just, um... Tell him that your little crush over this other guy is dissolved like snowflakes. Just come right out and say it? Do you want to grow up to be a nun? Oh, you do have a podcast. Of course. If this is all too heavy for you, I'd be glad to take DJ off your hands. Oh, you're a real pal, Bessie. Hey, somebody's got to make him happy. Yeah. Well, why don't you just give me a few ideas and I'll take it from there? Okay. First of all, the next time that you talk to him, look him dead in the eye. And when you have his undivided attention, start staring at his lips. Really? They can't handle that. Then, make sure your arm rubs up against him, straighten his collar, do something. You need body contact to put him on rope. Okay. Uh, is this a private conference? Oh, no. Hi, Mr. Hi, Kennelly. Hi, Betsy. I uh, hope I didn't interrupt anything important. No. I uh, thought I might talk the birthday girl into a milkshake or something. No problem. Um, listen, I've got to go anyway. Well, if you want to finish your conversation, no. I can... I was just, um, boring Ryan with my college schedule. I'll be a freshman. Must be an exciting time for you. Yes, it is. I've got to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. Exciting time for you, too. 16th birthday. Maeve and Johnny are closing the bar for the party, so Ryan's is all yours tonight. Oh, it'll be so much fun. Oh, you know, I think it's about time for my break. How about that milkshake? Are you kidding? Would I kid you? Come on. How'd we get here? Get where? To 16. You were supposed to always be my little girl that I could pick up and hold, cuddle when you got scared. Remember how scared you used to get during the storms? Oh, terrified. When you were three, you used to call it whitening and hippo thunder. I did. Uh-huh, that's because I made up this dumb story how thunder was a bunch of hippopotamuses dancing on the clouds. I thought that would make you less scared. Did it? Nope. I couldn't take you to the zoo until you were five because you knew that's where the hippos lived. Now you can stop feeling guilty. You don't scare that easily anymore. I'm sure you do. That's the hardest thing for me to learn. You're not a little girl anymore. You're a young lady. I guess uh, that means I'm growing up too. Daddy, I love you so much. I love you too, honey. Tonight is a very special night for you. Yes, I'm, I'm sure it could be. The old Gabrielle would have fought your marriage to Siobhan tooth and nail. I would never have let you slip through my fingers this easily. Mm -hmm. And now? I'll sign the 
the papers. Thank you. Ready? Yes, ready to sign the papers. Gabrielle? Sign there. And the bottom right here. And right here. There. So many times? Max, your signature right under Gabrielle's. I just hope it's not something you're going to regret. Oh, there's no real danger of that. Well, if you should change your mind, Maxine. Good. Please call. Hmm. Yes, I'll remember it. That's fine. Good. Goodbye, Miss Ryan. Goodbye. Well, thank you for witnessing those signatures. Oh, you're welcome. Will that be all? That's all, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was easier than I expected. I kept waiting for the, uh, the next shoe to drop. Well, Gabrielle's <clears throat> very clever. She won't fight unless she has a good chance of winning. Does that also, um, go along with your father's will? Oh, no, she'll do battle on that. But, uh, I intend to break that will. With your help, of course. <laughs> Max, are you sure that you want to entrust half of Antra to me? <clears throat> In a way, I've already entrusted the whole company to you. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, what I'm afraid of is that Gabrielle will hire the uh, best and biggest estate attorney in New York. Mm -hmm. I'm well aware of that. The letter also concerns me. Your mother's obsession with it. I, are you sure that there's nothing in that that you just haven't thought about? Well, my mother has a lot of pride. Now, if that letter is to reveal Gabrielle's relationship with my father, she'll, she'll do anything to keep that secret. See, my father knew that. So he knew that you would protect her pride? Oh, I'm sure of it. I'm sure. That's why you have to set up an appointment at the trust bank as soon as possible. Well, when? Today. <laughs> Today, I want, I want that letter opened. I want to get this over with once and for all. Okay, Max, just wait a second, all right? I just don't think this is the right time. <sighs> I know you when you get that look on your face. So, I will make the call. 